Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic eliminating left recursion. Already in the previous session, we have discussed about left recursion and its styles. So in this session, we will discuss the general format to eliminate the left recursion. The general form of the left recursive grammar is A derives A alpha or beta. So if you are considering the first production, A derives A alpha. The first symbol in the right hand side of the production is same as the left hand side variable. So whenever in any given grammar, the first symbol in the right hand side of the production is same as the left hand side variable, then that kind of grammar is a left recursive grammar. And here this A is a non-terminal and alpha is nothing but a string of terminals and non-terminals. And if you are considering the second production A derives beta. So here beta is nothing but a string of terminals and non-terminals. So here the second production is not left recursive. If the given grammar is a left recursive grammar, the top down parsers cannot able to handle the left recursion. So in the given grammar, the left recursion should be eliminated. Then only we can able to parse with the top down parser. If the general form of the left recursive grammar is A derives A alpha or beta, the left recursion will be eliminated with the help of these two steps. The first step is A derives beta A dash and the second step is A dash derives alpha A dash or epsilon. So instead of this grammar, we have to write this two step grammar in order to eliminate the left recursion. For example, if the given grammar is S derives S A or B. So here in this grammar S derives S A. The first symbol in the right hand side of the production is same as the left hand side variable. So the given grammar is a left recursive grammar. And this grammar general form is A derives A alpha or beta. So this left recursive grammar in order to eliminate the left recursion we have to convert with the help of these two steps. So here this a is nothing but s and this small a is alpha and this b is beta. First step is a derives beta a dash. So here a is nothing but s. So s derives beta is b and a dash is nothing but s dash. So the first step is s derives b s dash and the second step is a dash derives alpha a dash or epsilon. So here a dash is nothing but s dash and alpha is nothing but small a, a dash is s dash or epsilon. Whenever the left recursive grammar is of the form A derives A alpha or beta, we have to write the given grammar in the form of two steps in order to eliminate the left recursion. So the first step is A derives beta A dash and the second step is A dash derives alpha A dash or epsilon. So this is the general form if there is only one alpha production and only one beta production. Suppose in the given grammar, there are more than one alpha productions and there are more than one beta productions. Then the general form is different. So if you are considering this left recursive grammar, A derives A alpha 1 or A alpha 2 or A alpha 3 likewise. And also there are more number of beta productions that is beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 likewise. If the given left recursive grammar is of this general form, then we have to eliminate the left recursion with the help of these two steps. The first step is A derives beta 1 A dash or beta 2 A dash or beta 3 A dash likewise. And the second production is A dash derives alpha 1 A dash or alpha 2 A dash or alpha 3 a dash likewise or finally epsilon. For example, if you are considering the grammar S derives S a or S b or C or D. So if you are considering this grammar, this is a left recursive grammar with more than one alpha productions and more than one beta productions. So here the S is nothing but a and this a is nothing but alpha 1 
and this s is a b is nothing but alpha 2 and this c is nothing but beta 1 and d is beta 2 so this is a left recursive grammar with more than one alpha productions and beta productions so this left recursive grammar in order to eliminate the left recursion we have to write with the help of these two steps so the first step is a derives beta 1 a dash or beta 2 a dash so here a is nothing but s so s derives beta 1 is c a dash is s dash or beta 2 is d a dash is s dash so this is the first step second step is a dash derives alpha 1 a dash or alpha 2 a dash likewise and finally we have to add epsilon so here a dash is nothing but s dash and alpha 1 is a a dash is s dash or alpha 2 is nothing but b a dash is s dash and finally we have to add epsilon so to eliminate the left recursive grammar with more than one alpha productions and more than one beta productions we have to write the grammar like these two steps so in this session we have discussed about the general format to eliminate the left recursion in the next session we will discuss about how to eliminate the left recursion with example also, we will discuss with example the immediate left recursion and indirect left recursion. Thank you for watching this video.